I remember when I was in high school and women engineers or engineers in general would come in and say, well, do you like math and science? Yes, okay, then do engineering. And I think it's so much more than that as you really understand how intricate it is and the vast knowledge that there is out there. It pushes you and I want to learn more and more. It really teaches you a process of like looking at an issue and finding a solution, especially civil engineering. It's about, you know, problem solving, finding solutions for the world. I would consider myself a people person or outgoing. I love to interact with people and have those conversations. And so with civil, I can use my skills and my technicalities, but also combine that with my communication skills. From the start, I noticed how the professors were so um, involved in wanting to see me succeed. They are so personable and so encouraging. I have time to do things that I love, things that I'm passionate about. We're trying to build, build a well in Honduras right now, and that is so cool to me, knowing the technical side, but then also working with the community. Dr. Adams, he's an environmental engineer professor here. I do undergraduate research in his lab, and they design water filtration pots, and we're testing different iron coatings so that when you pour water into the pot, the iron takes away the arsenic in the water as well. A lot of the applications are in developing countries. You get to see what all that hard work, what eventually you get to do. It's a university trying to make wonderful people. You, you walk through the halls and you see visually what everybody has accomplished. And I think that's also motivating, you know, look who has come before and I want to be like that and I know I can do it. Um, it's another reassurance of, yeah, I, I'm in the right place.